software has what we call a sketchpad which enables you to configure a particular beam or to sketch a beam and then sketch the point loads, the distributed loads and then analyze and design the beam and later you can even detail the beam but above that we also um, link the sketchpad to the model you can actually um, like get to the first floor just by navigating this is the first floor and then you can view the properties of the beam of the first floor and then this might be one I can view beam one in sketchpad when you do that the software will show you beam one you can see beam one is actually a three span beam and then you can see the loadings of the beam all laid out in sketchpad kind of graphically in the kind of showing you the underlying loadings that the software used to design and analyze the beam as we did earlier so why in sketchpad you can quickly why in sketchpad you can quickly um if you want to see the the moment distribution table just click analyze and design beam and then the software will of course show you the main distribution table you can see my the first was my loading case one this is loading case two and this is loading case three and then you have the shear force diagram okay then after that of course you have the bending moment diagram all done in a click and then you can also synchronize this beam to beam one which is where we got it from at the same time you can also synchronize the loading you know we'll talk much about that later in could be in, in, our, in our further studies about the software but i just wanted to show you you can see your the bending moment diagram of course above we had the shear force diagram okay there's so many things you can do with the sketchpad but one of them of course you can view a particular beam in in the in the model and then from the model view you can you know send the beam to be seen in sketchpad so the software we kind of give you a detailed view of the beam in question the loadings on the beam and so much for the tables and the diagram again let me also show you how you can also use the sketchpad to create a simple arrangement for instance um, i can create a new sketchpad page okay and then um, i can sketch my bean span can drop the span of the beam I can change this this is a 4 meter beam I can also add another span could be the length of span this time around is 3500 I can add another span so it's 3500 I can add another span So it depends on how many spans you have. You can always add or you can just delete a span. Okay, let's see this our last one. Let's assume is 4,000. Then I can sketch my UDL, distributed load, however it is. The software have it covered. I can enter my GK, let's say 25. I can sketch another UDL say 10 I can sketch twenty five and beside that you can actually overlap loops. I mean it doesn't it takes good care of it. I can put another one here call this twelve. I can put another one however the loading is the software has it covered I can put another one here that's it when you are done with loading your UDI I can even add a point load just put a point load here 
So 20, put another point load. However, the point load, wherever it will occur, I can actually change this, six, um, say 25. I can actually change the start distance of the point load. Um, let's uh, make it um, 2200. Zero, zero. You can see. So it has it covered. I can add another point load. It's 30. So that's it. Analyze and design. That's all you need to do. You can see the software does all the calculation. The bending moment there, the, 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 the moment distribution is loading case one, loading case two, loading case three. And of course, you have your shear force diagram. And have your bending moment diagram. So, as you can see, the sketch part enables you to quickly sketch a particular beam, sketch the loadings. And then sketch the point load, whether UDL or point load, and just click analyze and design, and automatically you have your calculations done, of course, with a table. And of course, it lays down the load in a very, very good graphical way. You can actually see the span and the loading. Again, actually, you can also um, create a span that is um, cantilevered. Presume we have a cantilever at this end. And um, all you need to do is just to change the start support type to be none. I won't go into this in detail. Later, you learn more about it. Okay, then I can add a UDO. And then um, I can uh, call this um, 10. Okay, I can also add a point loop. Let's assume that this is um, 25. Actually, the, the, the sketch part is very, very good that it, it, it has, it's always in control. For instance, a sketch part will not, the sketch part will not allow you to add a point load directly on a support. It will not allow you to do that. Again, of course, it will not allow you to put a point load outside the spans. It will also allow you to put a UDL anywhere outside this one. You can see it, it, it's quite very good and you can see putting a UDL across the span, no, do not allow you. So it just makes sure, I mean, it's, so, it's designed in such a way that it makes sure it, it minimizes mistake to a very, very PRS minimum. Okay. The only way it can allow you to put a point load is if you have a cantilevered edge both ways okay those all those click analyze and design we can see the sketch part reconfigure the whole stuff all over again recalculate the tables the, the trailing cases you can see my share force diagram again and then this is my bending moment diagram that's how simple it gets with the sketch part. It's quite a very good utility. You can easily sketch a particular beam, sketching the loadings, click analyze and design. It gives you all you want. And then again, the sketch part can also detail the beam for you. All I need to do is just click detail beam. So that's it. So the beam is detailed. The reinforcements are all laid out. You basically do nothing. That is one good thing with the sketch part. It's quite a very good utility. Like I enable you to do quite a lot under a short period of time. Okay. Um, you can change anything you don't want. If you select a particular span, for instance, you can see the loading on that span. So basically, the, or the UDL on this span, we have basically two UDL, and of course, you can also see the point loop on the span. Okay, 
that's all about the, the, the sketch but of course so many other things that you can do with the sketch pad but that will be in our further lessons we'll be able to tell you more on how you can synchronize the beam and how you can synchronize the unit of the sketch pad okay